about a one I probably can get. So you can tell we're at Shane's. Ripping apart the Sportster, and we're gonna start painting everything black and make it not look like an old man bike anymore. We're making it great again. Got the bike semi stripped down. Now we're just gonna take the rear wheel off and paint up the fork tubes, rear wheel, front wheel, and maybe the side cases. We'll see. Thing is gonna look sweet. the forks off gonna clean them up a little bit cleaned up these now I'm about to hit this with some primer so that's two coats Two coats of black. Those are cooking in the sun. It's actually pretty nice out today. Cooking, cooking up in the sun. Machine spraying. The oh, triple's black. Should have primed. Oh, geez. Should have primed. Sheesh. That's your call. <laughs> Still like soap? Oh yeah. We're gonna redo that. <laughs> so it just leaks all the concrete. And then oh, all the grease. Okay. If you want to run to Walmart and get, they sell the grease buckets. You can buy. Can you just put like a pin on it? Clean of the triples. The whole front end is almost done. Shane's just. Doing the front wheel and then we'll uh, reassemble it. <laughs> that shit looks so good. So, this is with the front end all black. Well, we left these polished, so we're gonna polish them real nice. But it looks really good, and the front wheel is drying over here. Totally transformed the whole whole bike. Makes it look so much better. It doesn't look like an old man bike anymore. So it is two days later, and Shane just went to somewhere in Pennsylvania to go pick up this sweet tank. It's got like fish scales and some sick patterns and then he's got the matching rear fender. It's gonna look super sweet. It's so sweet. We're gonna start assembling the front end again. We're gonna throw the front wheel on, try and mock up the tank as best as we can because we kind of got to bend the tabs and stuff. And then Shane's ordering bars and risers soon. So, starting to come together pretty quickly. We might paint some stuff here and there. Side cases, possibly. And, uh, yeah. So it is 
continuation of the third day of this video, Shane's bars came in, his risers came in, his van's grips came in, and we got to throw an air filter on, and now we're trying to figure out, because this tank is, I guess it's, it's just off a different bike, so we have to rig something up. Those are supposed to be for the front, but the front just barely lines up. So we have to rig something up to figure that out. And uh, yeah, it looks almost there. Now I need to get mid controls and that's it. Oh, and he uh, painted the rear wheel too and that turned out good. Slide him. Got to improvise. So we got the tank all mounted up. All right, we have we have to cut this. Don't worry about that. But drilled a hole all the way through. Put the air filter on. We had to do, use a spacer because it wasn't sealing, and it looks kind of wacky, but that's okay. But the whole front end is almost there. Now just mid controls and throw the back wheel on, and it'll be good. Oh, you hit the tank? Yeah. Back. <laughs> Holy shit! Right. The tent, no shifters, no fucking everything else. Is that a GoPro? No, that's a bike. No asshole. I'm gonna park my vehicle. I need this LED on. Hmm. Straight to the frame. He's never yeah. driven power. This is his parents' house. The real question is. Oh, there was some fuel left in there. Still got some gas. Choker. There was no gas in it at all. <laughs> That's going to be it for this video of uh, Shane's progress on the Sportster. Got the bars on, risers, grips, front wheel painted, front end painted, rear wheel painted. And now we're just going to figure out a seat and uh, the rear fender and that's it. Oh, and the air filter. And of course this lovely tank. So stay tuned for the next video.